let me be real. Spending 10 US on Netflix and making your book. No cap. And I even cap in if you're spending 10 US on Netflix and you're broke right now. It have like a 50% chance. That's why you want me struggling. <laughs> Alright, that was just a little, um, a little um, clickbait in that kind of sense. But really, I'm motivated. You know, I really am motivated. I see these posts on Facebook and thing talking about when I see a man post up, if people are going all these people, all these fat and party and lime and thing, why not studying to build house and land and whatever? Okay, whatever. No, the equivalent kind of weird because the party and lime is maybe a few hundred, maybe a few thousands if you go plenty, and then house and land could go up to a million and more than that. So it's kind of like, mm. people don't really get any maths now, but. I could, could kind of see where you're coming from, where you're coming from. But I'm not going to get into that. That's just, you know. One next thing you have is like, if you have Netflix and all these streaming um, platforms, you know, you're paying for PlayStation Plus and all these platforms all the time. And it's just like 10 US, 20 US if so much. And people will tell you, dog, you're wasting your money on that. But then, there's an argument, right? So it could be like, how is that equivalent to you can't think I go in broke spending 10 US a month on Netflix. I do deserve to relax, I do deserve to watch my shows, I do deserve to do those things. Don't I? Oh. So both both have kind of sound arguments. Because when you say that somebody else could be like, Yeah, you could do what you want, just do complain about you know where you at. You know, there are some people who are in jobs where they could just go to work. And probably eventually they go up in progression. They go up the ladder and get more money, more money, and then live more comfortably. But then it have others who just doing the same thing over and over. And when you spend that little ten US on Netflix or whatever, you might just spend ten US on Netflix. But think about then the time that's going now. The time you're taking away, and time is ought to be money, G. Time, your time had to be valuable. So after you spend that ten US a month. And so you're watching a real show is taking away hours. Take away hours of probably in a month. If you had a time, it could be three whole days. It could be much more, it could be less. But you take away real time. And what you do with that time, you know? When you're playing game, you take away real time playing game. So you're not really giving yourself these opportunities, this mindset to, you know, go forward. You say you do your eight hour work day, then it's time to relax. I had a hard day. Come and relax and thing. So that's where I'm coming from. If you spend that ten dollars on those things, it's more than just the ten dollars you spend. It's the time being taken away, all right? But it's I would say it's a fifty percent chance. It's not like a be all and end all. You can't do it. Just yes. think about it. If you really putting out a good day's work and doing effective things for your health, your mind, all different aspects, which will actually make your life feel better. You don't really have the feel. You don't feel. You don't get the time. Like play a game or watch shows that often, no? Cause watching shows could be a relaxing thing, or playing game not a relaxing thing. Your mind keeps your mind working still. It really just takes away. The best way to rest is to sleep, right? That's what I can say. Honestly, when you're sleeping, yeah, that is pure bliss. Unless you have some kind of insomnia or something. When you're sleeping, G, that is the rest right there. So all these things about oh, you don't rest, you don't need to rest. What do you mean? I can't enjoy my time a bit. Of course you could enjoy your time, right? Of course you could. But I think you should just choose it on maybe something a little better, a higher quality. Or even if you have your Netflix, just most people do the real often, every day, every night. Just do it less often and, you know. So this was just to talk a little bit about how maybe spending 10 US on Netflix a month could be keeping your book. Maybe. Anyways, I tired you. Oh yeah, let's get it.